Okay, so the drama between Taylor Swift and record executive Scooter Braun continues. It all started last year when Scooter bought her old music label and the rights to most of her songs. Scooter has now sold them in a deal worth more than 300 million. Taylor explained it all on Twitter, saying she approached Scooter about buying back her music, but realized he'd still profit from her songs. She was also asked to sign an agreement stating she would never say anything bad about Scooter. So Taylor walked away and will now re-record her past six albums. Uh, Erica, what do you make of Taylor's struggle to reclaim the rights to her old songs? I think that Taylor is really changing the narrative and updating what her narrative is. I don't think that it's any like question why she mentioned the NDA. And I want people to really think about this. Taylor Swift is someone who has really um, figured out a way to use her story as her art. It's the way that she connects with her audience. And our stories are so important. When anyone's asking for an NDA, aside from X's and O's of a business deal, if you're having to remove or censor a part of who you are or what got you to this point, that is always problematic. And I think what she's really saying, and a lot of us can learn from this, is your story is more important and more valuable than any business deal. And I think that's certainly from someone who only had her story left when I lost everything. So I think it's really important that people walk away with that message. Listen, I think Erica's got a good point with the NDA, but a lot of people online don't understand what you just said, right? They don't understand what an NDA means. You explained it perfectly. A lot of people are just like, why doesn't Scooter give the give the um, rights or records back to Taylor Swift? He tried, and in the deal, she goes, listen, if you're gonna profit from this in any way, I want out of this deal. So she took the deal off the table. He tried to give her back her own records. It's not his problem that it was a good business deal on his end. And then when she didn't want him to profit at all, he took the business somewhere else and made $300 million off of it. Now he's the bad guy. The NDA, you got a point here, but I'm saying it's business. Yeah, but it's, I don't uh, disagree with that, but you always have to ask why an NDA is being brought into a business deal, especially when yeah, it has nothing to do Yeah, but you have to be ethical, though, too. I understand that it's business, but you have your sauce that you're going to do one day, right? Can we talk about it? Jardinier. Jardinier. Yes. Okay, so you got Jardinier. You've got a family recipe that's really vital to you. You even have an awesome logo that you showed me that really, uh, really represents all of that. What if I were to just be like, oh, that sounds really cool. I feel like that's going to make me a lot of money. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that. Even if it was from like maybe let's say one of your uh, partners and I didn't go directly to you, it, even though it's your story and I went ahead and I went around you and I got it from one of your partners, it's still a kosher business deal, but is it really that kosher considering that it's your story? It's called show business, not show friendship. Oh, you'd be so upset at me. I know, I'd be so mad at you. But Erica was like leaning back and I had to deliver something good. Tori, <laughs> what do you mean? I wanted to know. She wanted to get something. Oh, Tori's here. She's going to get me too. Drag me into deep water, Tori. Let's go. <laughs> no, I, I kind of understand where you're coming from because that's the societal norm of the contract. Remember Billy Joel? This guy lost everything because he didn't have anything. So what I think Taylor's trying to do is be the first pioneer, if you will. She's the first one in the boat, and she's trying to change what we all know of as a good business deal. It was never ethical, as Sam said correctly. It was just normal. And now she's saying, I'm changing it to a new normal. And I appreciate that. Yeah. And I like my Jardinier analogy a lot. It was I, good. Thought, I, I thought it, it was, was spot good. on. It was spot on. Be shady, but be shady out in the open, okay? Don't, don't make us all have to act like we don't know you shady. Uh,